<laughs> okay, let, let, on let, point, let's on point. On point. Let's is. rephrase it. Let's <laughs> rephrase it. Who realistically would you say has got a chance? Liverpool or Man Liverpool? City? Is that it? That's it why? Why would you not say United? Um, I, I think it's been really good. I think it was a run they needed, Manchester United and Solskjaer, but I still don't think they've been clinical in the, in their performances. Um, they've had a little bit of luck along the way. Um, if they carry on in that way, if we talking about another 10 games and Manchester United are still up there, then I'd be thinking, oh, hang on a minute. Uh, but uh, I would still say Manchester City or Liverpool. Oh, honestly, that's just the way I see it. Those two are far superior to anybody else. Okay, I mean, listen. You can talk about who you think will win it, and and but if you're going to rule, but it's a strange out, year. It's just a absolutely, strange year. yeah. It's, and that's a that's a little caveat. It is a freaky year mm. where Liverpool go and lose seven two at Villa, where Man City lose five at home to, and they've Leicester. drawn the last two against Newcastle and West Brom. Yeah. Who would have ever thought that? Well, li- this I mean, honestly, Newcastle nil nil. Liverpool. I mean, that's, that's one of the freakish results and the, of the season. And the, and the West Brom, the way they're defending mm. and everything about them, for them not to, to come away from those two points we get. I mean, if you have, they take six points from there, so it looks a totally different table, doesn't it? You yeah. would say there's nobody even going to, it's going to be Liverpool, they're going to walk it. But I think the, uh, the, you know, Sam thought he was like the new uh, Messiah, didn't he, when he got a point to Liverpool? Was that a wake-up goal since yeah. then? But, uh, yeah, man, and which kind of backs up the point I was going to make. I thought it was more about Liverpool not being particularly good on that day. So Liverpool are definitely, uh, absolutely. I mean, they are the champions. They were very unlucky not to be champions the season before. And here they are top of the table. Of course, they're in the title race. You look at Man City yesterday, just coming to the boil, just uh, finding new ways of using the brilliance. Oh, by the way, I just say there's a little side issue here. There was a little debate going on last week and the week before about Bruno Fernandes being better than Kevin De Bruyne. Do you all want to just forget that for a moment, hang your heads in shame and just pay proper tribute to the genius that is Kevin De Bruyne. Mm. Can you imagine Bruno Fernandes being told to do what Kevin De Bruyne did yesterday? I don't think so. As brilliant as Fernandes is, and as much as an, an impact as he's had at Man United, and he has been sensational for them, come on, Kevin De Bruyne is way ahead still of pretty much everybody else. But in terms of the title race, I look at Man United's goals against. That's what would concern me. 24 goals against. I mean, that's more than Fulham. So that, to me, says over the course of a season, unless there's a serious tightening up on a long-term basis, not just the odd game here and there, I'm talking about serious tightening up, then I think the Man United will struggle to win the Premier League title when they're shipping goals like they have been doing. Well, it'd be interesting to see, because I wouldn't have expected Manchester United. If you'd have asked me four weeks ago, five weeks ago, Aid, Manchester United would be second in the table, or some people like to say joint top, um, at this stage of the season, I would have said not a chance. So they've got to be given some credit uh, to get into this that position. But as I said, it's such a strange season. I, I can't quite work it. Tottenham one minute are up there, Chelsea are up there, Leicester are up there. But at the end of it, Liverpool uh, are sitting on top of the table. Um, and they have been at this period, I think, the last three seasons. Mm-hmm. Um so the only team for me that can overtake them, uh, if they get on a run, they're capable of that. The only team capable of that run where they could go and beat the rest of the season is Manchester City. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree with that. Um, for me, Man City are going to win the title. We'll see. And yeah, listen, we can all make predictions. As you know, as you've said before, it's a freaky season. Who knows what's going to happen? You know, can Leicester do a Leicester? Could uh, are we? Have we mentioned Spurs? Do we? Do we mention Tottenham Hotspur? <laughs> well, they've been up there at some point, and we did talk about Tottenham with a manager uh, who's won it before. A manager that's won it before, and again, they're another team. If it comes down to it, at the end, if you look at Spurs this season, on how many goals they've conceded late, late in the game, late in some games in the Premier League, mm. they'd be the top. They would be top by a long shot. Yeah, it's true. So again, it's anybody's season, but I'll still come down to it. I think the two that are going to be at the top, it's going to be Manchester City and Liverpool. But it wouldn't surprise me if it's someone else, purely because it's just a ridiculous, strange year. It is. Um, All around. I mentioned uh, Mourinho's won it before. Ancelotti's won it before. And there's going to be no fans again, is there? Let's be honest, there's going to be no fans for at least another probably six weeks. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it may even be... Uh, I think that's optimistic. Yep, There's optimistic. A, hope I'm totally wrong on that, by the way. Mm. Uh, but I, I, let's talk about the title race and who realistically is in it. And, and try and back a team. If you, and, and if you're ruling a team out, saying, no, they definitely won't win it... Sheffield but, United won't win it. <laughs> <laughs> They've got a bit of ground to I think to I'm make getting up. that right. <laughs> <laughs> Mathematically, can they win it? <laughs> well, there is some pundits out there who will say, well, Sheffield United ain't going to win it. They'll take that one. Put that on my CV. 